There are currently 46 Iron Spiders and 29 non-negotiable old Empire police robots running after our poor little asses. The team is carrying heavy load and is still a little bit exhausted from the last couple encounters, which slows us down quite a bit, which means we can't outrun those robots. Contact is imminent. Chances of surviving this unfortunate encounter are very low, close to zero. Everyone will die a painful and agonizing death also guys merry christmas happy holidays happy new year best wishes to all of you watching at the time uh, in the christmas spirit i know i'm a bit late i'm sorry uh, i was distracted i wish you all the best guys hope you got a lot of cool presents and a good start into the new year now let's see how do we get out of here without losing uh, too many of our people Seems like the ones slowing us down are Amen, uh, Burn and Wing Wang. We could just let them get picked up by some other members that are stronger and faster, but I should have reacted a little bit faster in the first place, I guess. Because now we are completely surrounded by those shitheads and every move I'm gonna make could cost us some more injuries, which in turn would slow us down even more. Well. <laughs> That's quite a delicate situation we're in. Eamon is just so slow because he's still carrying the Gorilla Bandit's leader on his shoulders. What the? I mean, who the hell needs that freaking idiot anyways? Just drop him. Okay, here goes nothing. Holy shit, that's brutal. Oh no, we lost someone. Those guys have absolutely no chill. That's your typical Kenshi justice system. It's as if, almost as if it got inspired from real life scenarios. Too real. Okay, I think we're a little bit faster now than they are. That's good. We should be able to outrun them now. We only had to leave uh, green behind. How's he doing? And where the hell did the Gorilla Bandit went off so fast? With only one leg. How? He's just gone. All right, we are able to outrun those iron spiders with no problem. But those skeletons, they're still keeping up. So annoying. Dead fishing village. Not so dead after all. Green, fast, treat your wounds. And maybe let's check if there's some more loot around this village. Should be safe now. Nothing. <laughs> like nothing valuable at all. This place offers nothing out of value. I mean, in the whole, even in a more negative way. It keeps taking value from you. Being here, can't recommend this place. Gets a 0 out of 10 from me. Wouldn't stay again. Oh, look, we found an outpost. We're still getting chased, man. You know what? How many of them even are there? Looks, looks like there are more of them than before. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe, maybe we can beat them. I mean, we're pretty strong. And beating up Catelyn won't be any more easy, right? Let's do this, guys. If we don't beat them here, they will hunt us forever. We're actually stronger individually. But for every single one of us, we get three or more police robots to fight against. It seems like they're winning just because of sheer numbers. Look, how is this even fair? Oh! Green got here. He's back. Wait a second. Those doors weren't open before. Don't tell me there were even more police robots just uh, coming out from those buildings. Damn dude, I'm completely fucked. Oh man, I'm so dumb. Why did I start the fight right here at those buildings? I didn't even know who, who or what's inside. Let's try to lure a couple of them away from here with Green. Most of our people are downed already. Sensei, on the other hand, is doing a good job though. Look at how many of them there are. I swear to God, they're like multiplying. This is, this is not normal. It's just Sensei fighting now. <laughs> He's the only one left. This lad. How did he get downed like in one hit by those easy peasy fish people last episode? And now he's the biggest chat in Kenshi history, fighting for his last breath. Maybe it would be better if he gets downed already. The others. He inspires the others to stand up again. Instead of staying low and preserving their health. Guys, what the hell are you doing? Okay, now now the Iron Spirals are here. That's a GG. Yep, there, there he goes. Wow, this is so much fun, guys. This is great. The best thing about this is 
they won't leave. I can't get up and treat the wounded. And if we stay like this, we're gonna bleed to death. This is bullshit. It does look especially bad for Paul. Oh no, my big little fella. Oh shit, he's about to die. No, Paul. Do you do you know how much you mean to me? We need a cool ass name for this one. How about this? Look at this unit. We got our first girl and his name is Paul. I guess Chad lost a leg. We still have a chance. Green, one of our fastest boys. We can pick up Paul with Green and bring him to safety. We just have to act quickly. Every second counts. Holy shit. Look at how fast my little boy is. Run Green, run. Try treating Paul's wounds. Nice. I think we can actually lure them away from the others. All right, guys, use the chance to treat the wounded, especially Chad, who just became a puddle of blood. There are still some police guards here that didn't manage to keep up with the rest. Damn. To think about it, if Green wouldn't have been separated from the team early on, some of us definitely would have died. He's the hero of this episode. He is still running on and off, treating Paul's wounds. Look at how far he already went. This is insane. Discovered. <gasps> nice ruin. Okay, man. No shot this is how this game works. Now you're just f***ing with me, right? This game knows how to get the piss out of me. They honestly think I'm this stupid. This shithole looks exactly like the other two. Uh, police robot infested places. It already updated to horrible ruin. <laughs> Just stop this shit, man. We're gonna take a look in here when, when we get rid of those guys first. Dude, they won't give me enough time to heal uh, Paul. Paul's uh, poor little right foreleg. Oh shit, he's about to lose his leg, man. Oh, come on. Oh, some Hiver locals. Here, play with each other for a bit. Okay, nice. We did it. Paul is safe again. Everything's fine. Everyone survived. I can't believe it. Yo, we found a Hiver's base. And they are hella aggressive. They will get along well with those police robots. Very nice. Let's send Green back to the team again. Alright, let's check out those ruins now. They must have something out of value. Please. Since we went through so much shit. Oh man. <laughs> There's not even garbage in those crates. It's literally nothing. Nothing at all. Nichts. Niente. What the f*** is that bullshit, man? Like, we nearly died getting here. And that's what we get. Oh, man. There's some police dudes that got left behind. And at the same time, Green chilling out here with Paul. So glad Paul made it out alive after all. I wouldn't be able to keep on playing without him, guys. He's, he's like a cousin to me. Damn. Even like five of them is still a challenge to fight against. Or no, it's probably just that my team's heavily injured. Must be it. Must be it. War Green! Where the hell did you find even more of them police dudes? Oh man, does that ever end? You know, since Chad lost his left leg in the last fight, how about we give him a proper replacement for that? A beautiful left scout leg. Here you go, my friend. Run free like the wind. Next stop is gonna be the horrible ruin. We really need to find ourselves some beds or something to get some rest. We need to get our health up. And this time I won't be sending in everyone at once like last time. Just one fast guy to scout out the area. So everyone can safely get out if shit is getting too steamy. Let's go beep, check it out. Whoa, what the hell? What in God's name is that? Are those robots wearing uh, human skin? Honestly, this is pretty f***ed. Chris, what the hell, man? What the hell were you guys smoking, man? Dude! Curses, bloody curses to the f***ing biological robots. He means humans, right? You, you are no different to the skeletons. Damn, dude. They look horrible, but they're actually quite chill. As long as they're chill, I'm good. Let's see if they got any loot around here. What's this? A peeler machine. Yo, beep, what the hell are you doing? Whoa, what in God's name? Do, uh, no, get him out of there. Beep, do something, man. 
Oh my god. Damn, dude. Horse. I'm so sorry, man. It's an actual skin peeler machine. I didn't know, man. I guess we can stay a while inside those shacks. Those skin bandits won't mind, right? We will try to interact with those guys in the next episode. Hope you like this episode. Next one is coming soon. I promise. <laughs> Thanks to all the Patreons. You guys are beautiful and legendary and just incredible. <gasps> Thank you guys. Hope I see you in the next one. Until then, have a good one. Goodbye.